Hi there. Uh, let's do a quick tutorial on associative array. A uh, lot more to cover, by the way. In associative array, we had to cover several things here. Uh, so this can be a part one for this associative array. All right. So this associative array, if you see the declaration here, you have the data type the way we did uh, in case of uh, earlier, uh, you know, static array, dynamic array. So this is the data type. And then we have some variable for that array, some variable. And inside this square brackets, right side, in a static array, we use it to have the size of that array directly here. Whereas in dynamic array, later on, we initialized with a new function. But coming to this associative array, we are going to have something here at the index. So again, data type here. That's the difference. I repeat, the way we do for static arrays, like before this array name, we keep uh, data type and then the array variable itself. And then within the square brackets, we use it to have the size directly there, where in the static and dynamic uh, as well. Like in dynamic directly, we did not keep the value here, the size later on, whenever required, like we resized, uh, I mean, uh, we declared with the new function the size of this array in case of dynamic arrays. But in case of associative array, instead of directly, you know, initializing with the size here, like in static, or later on uh, initializing with size like in dynamic, we are going to have here some kind of data type. So this index can be of int type, it can be of string type, like that. So we'll take one example and we'll see that. Like the, in this case, if you see this example itself, here you have this is a bit, bit. And then you can consider this ASSOC underscore array as a variable name for the associative array. And this one, inside this parenthesis, instead of having the size of an array, we are going to have the type here. So this through example, you will understand. As I said, this is the part one of this uh, associative array. This associative array methods, we'll see uh, them later on. We'll jump start here with the example here. So if you see this example, this line number three, array underscore e num, array underscore e num is an associative array. Why we are saying it as an associative array? If you see here in index, instead of the size of this array, we are having some kind of data type here, tr underscore type. This tr underscore type is of enum data type, enumerator data type. So the second here, line number four, if you see, array underscore int. And this is supposed to have here, like in the static or in dynamic, the size of the array. Instead that we have int. Then how we are going to use uh, this uh, associative array? Like if here, if you see line number eight, nine, ten, array underscore enum, this array underscore enum. And here we are going to use here this trans because this T R underscore type is like data type. Because of this type def, this has become the data type. And this data type, T R underscore type, is of e enumerated data type. Inside this enumerated, we have trans, receive, and repeater. So 
it will take here as an index any of these values here, like trans, receive, repeater. Other than that, if you keep anything else here, it will give, compiler will give error. And uh, we are assigning here some value here. If you see the right hand side, the value that we are assigning 10, 20, 30 is because of this bit. Because this array underscore enum is basically of type bit. And the size of that bit is eight bits. So it can hold one location of this, one index location can hold how many bits? 10 bits it can hold. So if you directly assign 10, 20, it is like decimal values you are assigning. So now coming to this for each loop, this, about this I had to uh, present something. Uh, just about the for each loop. So if you see this uh, this presentation, what is hap happening here is, uh, let me take this uh, laser pointer. So array underscore int here. See this, this line initializes for each loop. That is this this one, particularly this for each within parenthesis, this array underscore int. Don't concentrate this one. Uh, this one means the semicolon or colon, uh, colon is seen here. So just concentrate this one. So this is initializing. Uh, this line initializes the for each loop here, this line. It specifies that the loop variable is i. This is i we are making use. And it will iterate over the elements of array underscore int. So this is array underscore int. It is going to iterate through all of those elements that are there in the array underscore int. Now, how is this variable is going to behave, this i? Inside the loop, this i, i takes on the index of the current element. So this array underscore int may be having uh, some values, right, at different indexes. So it iterates through, I mean, it i takes on the index of the current element means it iterates through those index values here. Through example, you will understand. It is not that uh, I is like starting from all the time from the zero. Like if you see this example. Like uh, here, if you see this example, line number four, four uh, line number 14, 15, 16. You concentrate. Array underscore int. What is array underscore int? Array underscore int is a associative array. Why we are saying associative array? Because the index here, you see, it is not the like, you know, some value here. It is rather it is some data type. So we are calling it as a associative array. To which type this array int belongs to? It belongs to bit data type. Now what we are doing here is this since this indexes can take integer values. So we are keeping here five, then 10, seven, any order like it. it is not compulsory you follow the order here. So you have assigned this array underscore int five at, at index five, you are assigned two, at index 10, you are assigning four, at index seven, you are assigning six. Now, Line number 18, if you observe, how is that going to, uh, this for each going to work? That's what in, in this PPT, this is particular statement is saying. Inside the loop, I takes on the index of the current element. It is going to treat the indexes. So it means what? 
in this in this array array underscore int we have index five index seven index ten so it comes to index five first in in uh, ascending order it comes here while it is printing index five then it will print here array underscore int this particularly in decimal format this i will be for initially because how many you know the index variable is what is this i is iterating through i think i'm making sense here this point i takes on the index of the current element index this is this this i relates to some i got some relation with index all right so here file array underscore int of this file meaning at this value two will be printed as i said it is like ascending order instead going to 10 it will go to the seven then at this seven whatever value is there that will be printed out and then finally it will go to the 10 so it has done with all in, uh, indexes that are there here in array underscore int so it comes out of the loop that's how this is working this for each is working so let's simulate this one copy go to your EDA playground and paste it here mm. okay and then and then see the same code it is uh, what uh, just now we have explained here uh, we have to run this one so to run this one as i said here this uh, all deck rivera pro is uh, though commercial with a gmail account like if you sign in with gmail account to this EDA playground you can access this all deck rivera pro though it is commercial but the other cadence mentor Vesta synopsis is not possible with the Gmail account. You have to have some your maybe uh, your university email ID or working like any private domain email ID by the way. So run this one. And then see this result here. Whatever been assigned 10, 20, 30, the those got displayed here and here array int if you observe five seven ten see the order we, how we gave in the inside here five ten seven right but the way for each loop works based on the index in ascending order so i'll demonstrate uh, this one by tweaking this one i mean this program uh, as you know this enumerated data type by default this trans has got a uh, value like i mean location you can say zero and then this is one and then this is two if not explicitly mentioned the compiler treats it is at zeroth location this is one and this is at uh, two what i do here is i'll change this uh, i'll put two here and I'll make uh, this receive as zero. I mean, uh, zero because the available indexes I'm using. And this one I'm using because th those are the indexes available here zero, one, two. So now, what I want to demonstrate here is the order you can see here it will like a zero will get this 20, meaning this trans will get 20. See now the currently trans has got 10, right? But how it is working this for each loop based on this index in ascending order. So this one means this receive. Receive will get 30. Okay, but uh, now the receive has got 20, right? Once I come run this one, then this one means receive, receive will get 30. And coming to the zero, zero means uh, this uh, trans. Trans will get 20. What is the trans value now? 10. So that's how it is going to be. Uh, additionally, I'll put here, I'll copy this. Copy and paste it here. 
and make here. Mm, let's say you are keeping 15 and then this one zero and then this one mm, two and then values here well, and this is 14 and this is uh, 15. So what is expected here is the way it arranged in simulator 5, 7, 10. Now it must be arranging like first is 0, then 2, then 5, then 7, then 10, then 15. That's how the, this for each it trades through. It, it trades through the indexes here available. So let's run and uh, uh, verify that what is being explained is happening. So run this one. Mm, here there is some issue. Invalid type index. Here invalid uh, type index. The bench line number eight. Line number eight. Uh, this is array. Mm, I for enum. Mm, this is I for enum. Two. This is zero, by the way. This is one. This is two. Uh, that's what I'm going to treat. Mm. This is zero, this is one, this is two. Okay, this is complaining. Uh, this Aldec Rivera complaining like that. I'll change this to mentor. So let me see whether this compiler also does the same. Com I mean, complain. It should not be the case actually because that's how this you know indexes are. So you can see uh, that's the problem with that uh, um, all deck Rivera Pro, but Mentor Festa you can see uh, as explained. Uh, this zero is actually pointing to this index trans, so you can see the trans being uh, printed here, the value corresponding value twenty, and this one means this is this in uh, for this this index is this one. So you see, it's getting 30. And then uh, finally, 0, 1, 2, this is the repeater. Repeater, this is uh, coming lastly here. Though the order here you can see is different and the order here is different. Simulator is arranging them in an ascending order. The same thing uh, here also applicable. You can see as I explained here, uh, is zero first and second is index two then index five in that order so the summary of this tutorial is uh, associative array unlike uh, the static array and dynamic array like putting the size of the array here it it facilitates us to have control in the index what type of index that we want to use like you can have bit here, you can have int, you can have string. So, and then that's the one thing that learning here. The second learning here is for each loop, how it is working. It iterates through the indexes uh, in the element here that is taken here. This could be anything. This is not necessarily this array uh, all the time. But the indexes, in this case, particularly here, if you see the indexes are there here. So it iterates through those array indexes this uh, for each loop. The same thing is with the second for each loop as well. Uh, so hopefully this is clear. Uh, but this is uh, just part one. A lot more to discuss, as I said here, if you see the contents. 
we have several things to discuss uh, associated array methods we have to discuss for each of this method we have uh, some examples here so them also we have to discuss we'll make another video about that meanwhile if you have any doubts please post them in comment section yeah thank you